Hey team, today we're going to talk about seven things that you absolutely must know before you move to Arlington. Hey, my name is Emily Howlett and I'm a local real estate agent here in Northern Virginia and Maryland. I have personally experienced how hard it can be to move to a place that you know nothing about. So today I'm sharing seven things that I wish I had known before moving to this area. Number one, the rumors are true. It can be expensive here. If you're coming from somewhere like San Francisco or New York City, it may end up saving you money, but if you're coming from most other places, you're likely going to experience sticker shock. To give you an idea, according to some studies, the DC, Virginia, and Maryland area has a cost of living that's nearly 20% higher than the national average. A dinner out at a mid-range restaurant will set you back between $20 and $30, and that's only for the meal itself. And the average price of a house is nearly $670,000. I have a whole video that gets more into detail on this, but for now, I'll sum it up by saying that it's a safe bet that you'll need to prepare yourself and your wallet. You've probably heard that traffic in Arlington and the metro area in general is bad, but exactly how bad? Let's just say that there's a reason we regularly are ranked as having some of the worst traffic in the United States. If you're planning on driving in the area, be prepared for traffic and lots of it. Normally, rush hour lasts from 6 to 9 or 10 a.m. and then again from 3 to about 7 p.m., but slowdowns can happen anywhere, anytime. On top of that, with driving styles from around the world mixing and sometimes clashing, it can get very interesting very fast. Practice your deep breathing and relaxation skills. You're going to need them. If being stuck in rush hour traffic isn't appealing to you, I have good news because number three, living in Arlington means that you may not even need a car. Public transit here is well-developed, reaching from the heart of Washington, D.C. into the surrounding areas of Northern Virginia and Maryland. It's also easy to get around as a pedestrian using the many sidewalks and trails in the area. In the event you do need a car, there are a number of rideshare, car share, and car rental companies that operate here. If driving or even owning a car isn't on your to-do list, you have plenty of other options to choose from. Number four, being bored or having nothing to do doesn't need to be part of your daily routine. There are so many options in terms of restaurants, sports and music venues, educational opportunities, festivals, and so much more to choose from. A quick online search will give you a huge list of options to suit your taste, and you'll probably find out about fun things from talking to friends, neighbors, and coworkers as well. I've lived here for 10 years, and I still discover new things all the time. Over time, you'll also find your regular favorites. For me, one favorite would be the Renaissance Festival. Every year, I love the opportunity for some amazing shopping, people watching, and my guilty pleasure, their crab pretzels. Number five, if you imagine Arlington as being only city, city, and more city, you'd be partially right. That said, there are still plenty of opportunities to get out and see green spaces. There are parks spread out all over the city and plenty of trees planted throughout as well. In addition, if you find you wanna get out of the city altogether, even more adventures await just a little ways out. If you're a Civil War or military history buff, or just looking to learn more, you'll be in Paradise. Gettysburg, Antietam, and Appomattox, among other sites, are all relatively close by. If that's not your thing and you're more of a nature lover, you have the Shenandoah Mountains or Lake Anna. City lover? Check out New York City and Philadelphia. There's something for everyone here. Number six, you are going to experience all four seasons here. This is no Texas or California where it's sunny year round. You should plan to experience the whole range of the thermometer, where winter days get as low as the 20s, with the rare few days lower than that, and summer days as high as the 80s or 90s, and spring and fall usually end up somewhere in between. In addition to the variety of temperatures, all of the seasons will have pretty high humidity. If, like me, you're not used to humidity, yes, I know, after all this time, I probably should be, but I'm actually not. This really just means that cold days feel colder and hot days feel hotter. Check out the description below for a heat index that will show you what temperatures actually feel like when you add humidity in. Number seven, if you're a fitness buff, this is the place for you. In fact, in 2020 and 2021, 
Arlington was ranked the number one fittest city in America by the American College of Sports Medicine. No surprise given that it's home to multiple marathons, half marathons, 10Ks, and 5Ks. Some of the bigger name races that you might recognize include the Marine Corps Marathon and Army 10-Miler. In addition to race events, you'll find gyms all over the place, whether for general exercise or more specialized focuses like CrossFit, Pilates, yoga, and more. I know we've covered a lot of things today. To sum everything up, Arlington, like any city, has its pros and cons, but I found that it's a really great place to live. If you'd like to learn more about what it's like to live here and whether the pros and cons are the right fit for you, I would love the opportunity to help you out. Whether you're new to the area or a local, reach out however is easiest. Text, email, or call, I'm here to help. And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe if you thought the video was helpful and you'd like to see more like it.